What up, guys? Kevin here. He did it. He finally did it. Review Tech USA deleted his channel, and I think he deleted his Twitter. You know, this was crazy. The other day, I was like, man, DSP, I haven't heard anything crazy coming from DSP's camp in forever. What's going on? There's always some drama with DSP, because DSP is DSP, but DSP hasn't been DSP lately, or it's just not coming across my feed or my algorithm. Um, so I tune into his stream and he's going hard on review tech USA. And, you know, I'm just sitting there. I'm like, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Maybe not that hard, but review tech USA just took his channel in the shit direction. And this is what happens when you take your channel in shit directions. You eventually going to get to a point where you got to go, you know what? I'm going to delete this. I re like the Review Tech USA was my longest subscribing channel or channel I was subscribed to. And then he decided to make a crap ton of EDP videos years back when that came out. And I'm just like, I didn't know who this guy was and I don't care to know who EDP is. Bye. Bye. And then I would check in every now and then. He would just do um, just drama shit, which... Being a drama YouTuber is fine, but you got to be about that life. I don't think he was ever fully in. I think he just has people he likes to make fun of, that being DSP, because that's what his streams are about, just DSP. And um, and then there's other drama about him getting high and not taking care of his kids, whatever. But I want to come from the standpoint of being a full-time YouTuber, content creator, Sucks. It absolutely sucks. Um, I can't say that from experience, but I watch people who make like multi-million dollars who are fucking miserable. <laughs> you become a slave to the algorithm. It's a lonely job where you're just sitting there. And there's a difference be between having like real coworkers that you can see, you can hug, you can kiss, you can fuck. Um, if you're <laughs> that type of coworker, hopefully consensually. Um, than having like online subscribers, just names or just people that scroll on the chat. Um, I think in the long run, it just messes with your head. And that's why I think of myself as the greatest YouTuber of all time because I figured it out. <laughs> I figured it out, guys. It's easy. You just make content where you don't edit at all, barely scrap together a thumbnail. And you just talk about whatever the hell you want to talk about. And you upload whatever the hell you want to upload. You're not going to make much money. You know, I just crossed the $3,000 mark over the last, what, two years. But I don't care because I have other means of making money and having a little bit more of a life. I think YouTubers just don't have a life at all. Um, it's just a sad existence. And that's why they're always doing like meetups and co-streaming with each other. Please be my friend. Be my friend. It's so, so lonely over here. All right, I'm all over the place here. Back to Review Tech USA. And yeah, I love this content back when he was doing gameplay content. Then I I don't know what happened on YouTube, but especially like a few years ago, everyone decided that their ugly fucking face needs to be seen. Why are these ugly people showing their face? At least VTubers figured it out. Hey, I'm ugly. <laughs> Let me just put a anime girl uh, skin as my uh, as my face. I will never get it. I will never get it. I'm not a bad looking guy, but I don't need to be seen. I want my content to be about my content, not about how it looks coming from me. <laughs> Seriously, and I'm not talking about bad looking people. They're just average. Even average looking people shouldn't be. Showing their face. I'm like, no, let's get some pretty things on there. <laughs> like, be good looking. I think there needs to be like a, a test or something. Like, hey, if you're good looking, you can um, you can show who you are. I don't know. That's just me. That's just me. Sometimes it's just distracting. I'm like, what are you doing? Especially like YouTube attracts awkward looking people or just people who are awkward in general. Don't know what to do with their hands or... Their uh, body language is so weird. All right. 
Well, back to review Tag USA. But no, he went down the drama route, and I just don't think it was for him. I think it, I think he enjoyed it, but when you got a family and kids, and then people are going to bring those up, you know, when ma, his mom or wife or whatever busts through the room and tells you to take care of your damn daughter instead of streaming, and that gets recorded and out there on the internet, like, yeah, that's now the life you live. <laughs> that's the life you live. Um, I don't know. Uh, hopefully he gets his, he does a reset. I think he just needs a reset is all. Maybe he just needs to go get a job. I would, I would say go get a real job. I know that comes off as, oh, well, I have to work a real job. You have to work a real job. No, there's real jobs out there that don't suck. <laughs> just, you got to go find it. It took, it took about a decade for me to find a job that, I actually enjoy going to. I at least wake up and I go do it. And now I make a lot of money because I enjoy doing it. So I enjoy doing it more and getting better at it. And I get raises where YouTube, you don't get raises at YouTube. You don't get raises at YouTube. YouTube is probably trying to figure out how to take more money from you than giving you more money. It's just a miserable life. It's something I'm glad, maybe like in the early 2010s, late 2000s, I would probably, I was probably a little bit like, oh, I want to do this full time. I'll, you know, imagine like, oh, I want to do like a podcast and then it take off, but I'm glad it never did. And even if it did, where would I be now? I'd probably be trying to hold on to what I did have, like a Review Tech USA, making crap content, being miserable, feel like I wasted pretty much my life, being in my late 30s now, just wasted my life, and now I have to go back into the workforce? Wow. I am so depressed just thinking about that. So I'm glad, uh, because I I mean, I always look back, I'm like, oh man, what if I did this and what if I did that? I would probably be in a review tech situation here where struggling to get my views and make money and making content I hate about. I don't care about, and then just saying fuck it and deleting my channel, deleting my Twitter. There is such thing as being too online, and I think YouTubers are way too online. I think as a whole, everyone should just take a step back and go, and like, how am I contributing to this platform and society in general? Do people really need this video from me? Do I really need to be the millionth person who has the same thought on this subject? Just because I need to get by, I need to make a living? No. <laughs> like, go actually contribute to society and make something of yourself. Feel good about it. It might hurt. It might be a uh, resistance to you. It might be like, ah, had to work a full day. But you'll feel better. You will feel better about it. And then when you have a video idea that you're really passionate about, work on that. I don't know. Like, if you're not making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year doing YouTube, just don't bother. Don't bother. <laughs> don't bother. You might be going up. And you're like, oh, right. Now, now I'm making 50000 Next year, I'm going to make sixty, seventy. dollars Like, eventually, you're going to hit that ceiling. And then you're going to come back down because people just get tired of you. People just get tired of you. There's people all the time. And I'm like, oh, I wonder what happened to that person. They got tired of me and went away. <laughs> and... There's no, there is no resolution to that. There's absolutely no resolution to that. You got to be one of the lucky few that the algorithm likes and you got to like the algorithm. You got to be adjusted to the algorithm, which that's a bitch. That's something that that's, that's a personality thing. (laughs) That is a personality thing. I don't have that personality. A lot of people don't, but a lot of people will fake it to get the uh, algorithm. I don't think it's the way to live. But, all right, well, I know this is coming out as, well, you're not a successful YouTuber, so, of course, you're bitter and weird about it. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm not. I just, like, I just see this, and I go, yep. What did you expect? I wish YouTube would go back to people just making the content that they want to make about. I wanted to make this video. I saw this, and I went, oh, yes, that... It like tickled my balls. It kicked me in the ass. Like, yeah, make that video. 
while a lot of other things, I'm just like, I can make a video on that. I'll probably get good enough views for my channel. But I'm like, I don't have passion for it. I don't care. I'll let other people who do care make that video. All right, well, I'm going in circles now. Hopefully, Review Tech USA gets his life in order, figure his channel out. I think he still has his streaming channel. And if he just wants to stream and makes his streams about DSP, fine. <laughs> That's what he's passionate about. Um, doesn't sound like being a professional DSP shit talker. There's people that do that, and those people <laughs> probably live in countries where um, the cost of living is so low that the 15,000 views that they get for making those channels each day, they can get by here in America, here in what? I think it's in New York. You ain't getting by <laughs> talking shit about DSP every stream. You're just not. If you are, you won the YouTube lottery. All right. Well, I got to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Later.